Well, joining me right now is Jackie Velasquez. Jackie, thank you so much for being here, as thank always. You. No, thank you so much for having me. Yeah. It's um, it's always fun to be a part of what you guys are doing here. It's of really cool. Of course. Well, we, please come back. Pl okay, come back okay. more. Come okay, back okay. more. <laughs> well, let's, let's go back. So okay. you were 16 when your career basically skyrocketed. I mean, what was that like for you? Oh, it was, um, it was crazy. I always kind of refer to that time frame in my life like a total blur. I was waking up at you know, 4 a.m., 3.30 to catch a 5 a.m., 5.40, 6 a.m. flight. And then you wow. know, trying to do my home, you know, do yeah. my schoolwork, because I was homeschooled, yeah. do my schoolwork in the plane, but you know, wanting to fall asleep and then getting somewhere, uh, doing radio interviews, going to radio stations, meeting the program directors. Yeah. Then like going to the venue, doing sound check. Just it was just so much, so fast, mm -hmm. and just like whew, I yeah. started to kind of glaze over. Yeah. Well, you were really used to being like beloved in the Christian community. You know, I have so many friends that are like, oh my gosh, Jackie Velasquez. You know, so many. You have so many amazing fans. Um, but something happened that kind of disrupted that reputation of being loved in the Christian community. What happened? I happened. <laughs> No, um, no, the reality is, you know, as a young person, we make mistakes. Mm -hmm. But when you're a singer and you're in front of people mm -hmm. and you have some success to go with it, yeah. you make mistakes in front of people that affect not just you, yeah. but everything. Of course. Um, so I made, I made a film called Chasing Poppy. And when, when you have success, you're going to have a lot of yes people around you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I mm -hmm. asked, you know, my mother and my boyfriend at the time, mm -hmm. Um, my manager, if I should do this film, it was a PG-13 film. They were willing to bring it to PG, like to, you know, make it clean and yeah. safe. When they said no, I was like, you guys don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Y'all don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. So I took it into my own hands. Mm, as we often do. We often yeah, do. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. made the movie. There was yeah. a lot of criticism from, you know, from churches, Christians, um, just people feeling like, oh, I don't know if she's safe anymore. Mm -hmm. She seems like unsafe, like wild wow. or something. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so that was kind of the backlash from that film. Mm -hmm. Well, then in my human state, <laughs> I choose to DIY a mistake with another mistake. <laughs> DIY, I like DIY. that. DIY. <laughs> yeah. So instead of allowing God to do it, I decided to do it because mm -hmm. I knew better mm -hmm. because I, I, I could fix this. Yep. I could fix this. Yeah. So I got married. Okay. I accidentally got married yeah. when I was 23 and intentionally divorced about a year and a couple months later. Yeah. So, um, so what happened? I mean, you thought that marriage was going to help your reputation. I thought it was going to help my reputation, make me look like, um, you know, like it's okay. She's safe. She's mm. grown up. She's gotten married. But as I was standing there in the aisle, like about to walk down the aisle. Yeah. I remember thinking, this is a poor choice. Mm, yeah. I can't do this. But I had the pressure of the fact that it had already come out in like People Magazine, mm -hmm. all these little blurbs, Jackie's getting married. So it was like, I had kind of had to go through with it. Yeah. But God had a different plan. God had a different plan. God had a different plan. And he <laughs> is so good at redeeming our yes. poor choices. Yeah, he is. Um, I ran away after the divorce. I ran away to England, came back to America because I missed my mom. <laughs> I got a phone call from a boy who I had dated, mm -hmm. who had said no to me making a movie called Chasing Poppy, mm -hmm. who called me and said, hey, can I take you out to dinner? I was like, uh... <laughs> You want to, I felt, I was like, yeah. you want to take me out to dinner? Don't wow. you know how broken I am? Mm. I'm so messed up. I've got like, you know, I've got a divorce under my belt. Mm. This is embarrassing. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an embarrassment. Okay. But what, fast forward. So that's so your took, husband. He, he took me out to dinner uh, and we got married. That's awesome. And we have two little boys. Yeah. Uh, we have a 12, just turned 12 year old mm. and yes. a 10 year old. So Zeeland is the 12 year old. Zeeland is and 12. Then... And Soren. Soren. Okay. Soren. So there is a song in your album called Trust You, mm -hmm. and it is about a diagnosis of your oldest son. Talk about that. What's the song about? Um, well, the song is about trusting that sometimes we're going to go through some serious uh, storms. Mm. We're going to go through some things that we just feel like we are drowning mm -hmm. and broken and feel lost. Yeah. But we trust that God is in control, and we trust that God will take what our, our lack of understanding mm -hmm. and make sense of it in only yeah. the way He can do that. Mm -hmm. 
um, a lot of times we have dreams, dreams of what life should look like, what our life should look like. Yeah. But God has other plans. Yeah. And we have to embrace those interruptions because Definitely. he's going to interrupt us. Yeah. He's going to interrupt our plans, even our best laid plans that seem like really great ideas and our hearts are in the right place. He, he will change those things. Like yeah. for me, you could have never told me that my son was going to be autistic. Mm. You could have never told me that he was going to struggle to communicate. Yeah. I mean, I, my husband and I, our whole ministry, our whole lives been based on ministry and communication. Yeah, yeah. So to see my son struggle, I, I, for a long time, I asked God, why me? Why me? Why my kid? Why my Zealand? This is not fair. I was angry. But then I had to change the way I looked at it mm -hmm. and the question I asked. Yeah. I had to ask, why not me? Yeah, there's purpose. There's Why purpose not me? Yeah. There's purpose, and he is all about rescripting and repurposing yes, our lives. Yes, yeah. But that story is still being written, so Absolutely. I'm waiting to see how it unfolds. Absolutely. And that's you and your husband. That that's is, your hubby. That's my hubby. I he love it. so cute. I mean, his lashes, <laughs> it's like... <laughs> you guys sound amazing. But your latest album, Trust, you weren't thinking about doing a worship album. Uh, no, because it, I didn't really know. I mean, I love to worship. Yeah. But I had never done that before. Mm. And so I was like going, I mean, everyone, I mean, people are doing worship records, but that's, I wanted to just, we worship at church. Yeah, yeah. So that was the genre I didn't know much about. Mm. Well, I'm glad you did it. I'm glad I did yeah. too, because it's a great experience. I, I love, I love just vertical. Yeah. I love that when it's just straight to, from us, our hearts, mm -hmm. to God's heart. Yeah. And just living in that space. Definitely. Well, really quickly before, before we let you go. Okay. What would you say to someone, because your book is about God rescripting your life, what would you say to someone right now who's just having a hard time trusting God because of the things that they did not plan for? What would you say to them to encourage them? Sometimes the things that we plan for are not what is good and healthy for us in our lives. Mm -hmm. If we trust that God is in control and can take what we see as broken, feel ashamed and feel like, how can God use this now? You need to trust. You have yeah. to trust that God keeps his promises. He always yes. keeps his promises. And it's always in his timing. So just trust and ask God. When you pray, he listens. So pray, ask God, what is this? Show me, embrace the interruption, and listen and wait for his interpretation. Amen, amen. Embrace the interruption. Thank you so much, Jackie. If you want to learn more about Jackie's story, her book, When God Rescripts Your Life, it's available in stores nationwide. And Jackie's latest album is called Trust, and it's available wherever music is sold. Jackie, thank you so much as usual. Can't wait to see you the thank next you time so you're much. here. Thank you so thank much. You. God, God bless you. God bless you.